For today's quiz, we have three items on the table. You simply want to know which of the following are dangerous. We're not going to hold a quiz up today because we don't want you to replicate this. We're doing it so you don't need to. Regardless if you can make a note of which is actually dangerous and list your level of confidence. Typical student responses are usually just the one. Well, you've got batteries here and this one is bigger than the others. It must be the most dangerous. That is the typical response that we normally get. What I'm about to do here is for educative purposes. Please do not replicate what we're doing here. If I were to take um, and short circuit any of these, that which is really the worst case scenario, you should never do this to a battery. So if I were to take a screwdriver and put it across a battery here, it's going to be very bad for the battery, but it's probably not dangerous. If you took it across this battery, oh my, that's fundamentally different. That is not actually a battery, that's a capacitor. Students assumed that it was a battery, but you know what they say, when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. To help illustrate what we're seeing here, let's redo this in slow motion. I think that slow motion really captures the violence of this. We should have really made this quiz simply, should you touch things that you don't understand in electricity or electronics? And the answer is clearly no. You know, all things considered, this was only 40 volts, this capacitor, rather benign compared to another capacitor that looks nearly identical. But this one can be charged up to 450 volts. Imagine how lethal that would be. So if you don't understand these things, don't go near them, don't touch them. The Idealized Science Institute will be making a series of lessons on electricity and magnetism to give you a deep fundamental understanding of this. Until then, stay clear of these. All right, that's your quiz for today. If you like what we're doing here at the Idealized Science Institute, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe.